trooper. Trooper is the soldier from for typical colors too. And well, I have sad news. I don't know if you heard about this, but a couple of days or even a year ago, uh, the voice actor for Soldier, not Trooper, Soldier, actually has died. From from what he died, he died from the No No virus. You know that one virus is spreading around, making me want to die inside. <laughs> oh, I know it. <laughs> yeah, that guy died. So I'm decided to. To pay him, even though he, I didn't do, he didn't, uh, you get my point. By making this video on how to play Trooper. Now I'm gonna start off by rock jumping, and before you get to the basics of rock jumping, you have to understand. Number one, you have to have a good internet connection. If you have a bad one, well, congratulations. You can't rock jump, because for some reason, if you have a bad internet connection, the rockets... I don't know if your rocket launcher won't uh, come out. And that sucks. And also, well, that's about it. Alrighty then, now for some loadouts. To, in my opinion, my favorite loadout has to be the original, the original or the stock rocket launcher. It's pretty powerful. With also the gun boots and the escape plan. So you can pretty much go anywhere in any place. If you know how to rock them. In this case, if you don't know how to rock jump, just take damage with the, uh, take damage, equip the, uh, the escape plan, and get out of there. Anyways, I'm gonna move on to rock jumping. I bet you're all waiting for that, so let's go do that then. Three, two, one, go. Okay then. In my opinion, the best way to rock jump is for a private server where you can get infinite ammo. And also, equip the rock jumper, the no damage thing. Yeah. But on that, in order to rock jump, what you have to do is hold W, alright? Hold W, turn around, jump, crouch, and shoot. If done all correctly, you go pretty far at high distances. Again, this won't work if you don't have a great internet connection. But also, you can pogo off of that. See? That's what I did. I pogoed. You can also rock jump off a wall. Do the same thing. Look at a wall at a certain angle. Jump out. And that should be it. Well, for wall rock jumping. Not to mention the fact you can also pogo off of that wall jump. But also, you can pogo off of walls. So yeah, you can basically do an old waller, I guess you would call it. Where you pogo off a wall, then you pogo, well, rock jump off a wall, then you pogo off a wall, and yeah. Also, remember to get a lot of health packs. Uh, if you're not wearing the gun boots, then, eh, you have to go around with more health packs if you're not wearing the gun boots. And if you're wearing the gun boots, then practically go anywhere at any time. But also, remember to crouch, because as you saw right there, I didn't crouch. And it, it forced me to take a lot of damage. Usually, if you don't craft, you, uh, your HP will go from 200 all the way down to 110. Yeah, I know. Pretty sad. And stupid. But if you know how to rock jump, you can... A green enemy soldier can basically co come out of that door, rocket jump, well, if they know how to rock jump, all the way to the health pack, and maybe or may not get a nest. If they have enough health, that is. Also, as a trooper, never leave your medic behind. If you leave them behind, they're dead for sure, alright? Don't be that trooper. Even, well, okay, of course, if your life is at a risk, you can try to leave and maybe help him. But just don't leave him unquainted and unsatisfied. Or in this case, don't leave him just hanging there, doing nothing or doing something at all. At least try to stay with the pack, also. And also, it's, be it's best recommended to shoot rockets at large packets. Or a uh, big area with a bunch of enemies uh, together. Because with the splash damage the rock jumper has, that's what causes him the extra damage, uh, you can transfer a, mu a bunch of damage from a pack. 
Instead of just hitting one person, you can actually hit most of a person with a splash damage. Unless you're using the direct. In that case, then, eh, not really. But other than that, that's a, that will be it for rock jumping. There's also another different rocket jumping which doesn't give you as much uh, height, speed, or whatever. It's basically identical to normal rock jumping. The only thing you do is that you uh, you don't turn around and just walk forward, jump, and uh, you know, walk walk forward, jump, crouch, look down, and shoot. That one doesn't work. All right. That one doesn't work. Anyways, time to move on to one of your biggest weaknesses as a trooper. Alright, here we go. If not your biggest weaknesses is, well, the class arsonist. Why, you may ask? Well, one simple thing. Arsonists can, you know, right click. And if they right click, they can air blast. And with air blast, they can reflect demo mans, or in this case, annihilators and troopers projectiles. Those are a nightmare to deal with, especially if if the arsonist is an average level or a pro level. If they're both of those, they know how to air blast. Unlike the newish ones, with just WM1. By the way, I don't I don't want to be mean to those, but can you pick at least you know something else besides WM1? Anyways, other than that, pyros would be your worst enemy. But you can actually counter them with one simple, simple thing. Just equip the shotgun! With the shotgun, you can basically just dodge everything the arsonist comes at you. Not to mention the shotgun is very powerful, but also the fact that for some reason, and <laughs> believe me out, new pyros, alright? Believe me out, new pyros. Shotgun bullets can't be reflected! Yeah, that's right, they can't be reflected. Just imagine that. And there are, but there are some problems. If you don't, if you equip the shotgun and ditch the gun boots, you take a lot more damage from rocket jumping. Meaning you won't be able to rocket jump as much. That with a lot less rocket jumping means you'll get to a lot less places. And, well, if you want to be a mobile threat, that's a bad thing. But also not to mention the fact that the rocket launcher only has four shots. You can only shoot four times until your clip runs out or you run out of ammo. And if you have the gun boots equipped, that's your that's it, alright? No that's fair game, alright? That's it for you. It's it's pretty obvious. And that's one big, big, big problem a lot of troopers, even I counter. Because I seem to forget it sometimes, you know? I seem to forget the fact that I only have four shots. Then you might be thinking, well, what about the shotgun? You move the shotgun, you only have six shots. And if you're facing off a heavy that's very far away and you decide to waste your shotgun bullets and then switch to the rocket launcher, then you have that problem. You're out of shotgun bullets. Game over. That's one big problem a lot of troopers face. Running out of running out of clip size and not being able to shoot. For example, in this clip, I was too concentrated in chasing this one flanker. I wanted it dead right there on the spot. But as you can see here, I was carried away, found the meeting, started shooting, but then I realized I'm out of clip size, and then I say, okay then, fuck me then. Yeah, that's a problem a lot of troopers counter. I can't really find a counter to it, unless you equip the Liberty Launcher. The Liberty Launcher has one more clip size, which in my opinion is fantastic. Well, uh, in reality, the Liberty Launcher is literally just for players who are deciding to leave the Rock Jumper behind, for example like that guy, and well, start with a Liberty Launcher. Because for them, they want to be a mobile threat. So that that's why they equip the Liberty Launcher. But other than that, yeah, that'll be it for Trooper. Just remember to not run out of, you know, clip size, bullets, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, that will be it for now. 
Thank you all so much for watching, well, my two viewers, I guess. And, uh, well, <laughs> I'm probably, I'm probably gonna see myself in the future, watch this video, and probably make a remastered version. I mean, I doubt it. Because I'm, I'm a lazy piece of crap. But in that, yeah. Also, another thing, troopers are very effective against nest, because, again, with the splash damage, and etc. Also, another thing, uh, rocket jumping up arsonist doesn't make you invincible. Trust me, I went through that phase and it was terrible. But just, just don't try to shoot at, pyro at arsonist, alright? Try to shoot the newbie ones and if they eventually learn, they'll learn, alright? They'll learn one way or another. Wait, wait. Wait, who's that? Hey, I have a question. Uh, what's your question? How do I counter arsonist if I'm, you know, an iron leader? You've come to the wrong place, alright? Uh, but... Uh, sh 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 <sighs> Listen, this is how to play trooper, not how to play an iron leader. I'll post that video later, alright? <sighs> you know, I'm probably gonna look at the future and say... <laughs> <sighs> you're not gonna, you're gonna, you're not gonna see the failure you are.